welcome again to another episode of The Living Word, an episode that has quite a lot to do with uh, one of these. Yes, a key. But first, music by the Salvation Army Band, a gospel song that is the key to a happy and joyous life. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. That assurance is God's answer to the cry of the needy heart, as one songwriter puts it. Ask me not, O loving Savior, hear my humble cry, and while others thou art it unlocks. Cliff? Oh, there you are. Your shirt's ready. Well, thanks, Mrs. Porter. That's all right. Didn't think you'd want to take out your best girl on a Saturday afternoon without having a clean shirt. No, I wouldn't. It sure is swell of Mr. Porter to let me have the afternoon off. Will you tell him I'll be back in lots of time to do the chores? Well, you can tell him yourself, Cliff. I think he's just coming in. Hi. Hi, dear. Pretty nifty there, Cliff. Thanks. I was just saying to Mrs. Porter that I'll be back for the chores. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you did a pretty good job on that tomato acre this morning. Matter of fact, you've done a good job all year. Thanks, Mr. Porter. Oh, uh, by the way, um, how are you going to take Betty Jones to town? I mean, it's three miles to the Jones farm, and then two miles after that. How are you going to take her? What? That's a long way. Well, I'll be back in time for the chores. Oh, I'm sure you will. I, uh, I was just thinking about Betty. I mean, that's a pretty long way to ask a girl to walk, isn't it, Cliff? To town and back, and on your first date, too? Well, I told her. She says she doesn't mind. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good girl who doesn't mind walking. Uh, still, I, uh, I think you ought to drive her to town. 
driver. Why not? You're no longer on probation. No. I'm never going to drive a car again as long as I live. And, and if I did, it, it wouldn't be yours, Mr. Porter. Not yours. I want you to take these keys, Cliff. It's very important that you drive a car again for yourself and for us. Here, take the keys. I can't. Oh, I wish you would. Here, take the car and have a good time. Here's the keys. I tell you, I can't. What kind of people are you, anyway? I don't understand you. I, I don't understand why you're so good to me. You act, you act like you don't remember. I stole a car and I... You took a car from your foster father without permission. And I don't blame you too much for that. That's all. It's not all. After the accident, I ran away. Well, that's the worst charge against you, running away. You don't count juvenile delinquency a worse charge? Or, or even manslaughter? No, because those charges aren't true. You could have made them true if you'd pressed the charges. And maybe they are true. Maybe I was traveling too fast. Well, there's no indication that you were off. Oh, and that happened a long time ago, Cliff. This is no time to discuss it. That's the trouble. You never will discuss it. I don't understand you. I don't know why you asked the judge to have me paroled into your custody. You forgotten? I killed your little boy. Don't you remember? Why'd you always look at me as if I hadn't? So you, you came running out from between those two cars. I hit him. You killed him. I picked his body up off the street. Took it to that house. Blood. It's all over me. And it still is. No, Cliff, no. You've got to stop remembering it that way. But that's the way it was. But it isn't that way now. That was one reason we took you in. To help cure you of that obsession. That's the way we first saw you. Rubbing your hands over your forearm. Kneeling by your jail cot. Jail? I never saw you in jail. We saw you. You see, we were outside your cell and, and your back was turned to us. You didn't see us. It was just before Billy's funeral. The police gave us permission to see you. I remember the chaplain took us up this corridor to your cell. Do you want me to tell him you're here? No. I just wanted to look at him. Well, Dora, there he is. That's who killed Billy. I see him. What's he doing? Seems to be praying. He is. He prays a great deal. I suppose he's praying to God to save him from prison. No, he expects prison. Well, now that you've seen him, shall I take you back to the office? Jimmy, he's nothing but a boy. What were you expecting, ma'am? I don't know. Last night, my husband said to me... I said I have to see him, Dora. And I agreed to come here with my husband so that we could see the actual person who killed our son. Well... You see him now. Why is he making those motions with his hands? He's trying to wash off the blood. He doesn't think God will forgive him. I tried to explain that only God can take away his guilt. He's young and frightened. But if he'll turn to God in repentance, God's forgiveness will wash away those stains and every stain of sin. I can't hear what he says. I have to know what his prayer is. Take my life and give it to the little boy. Take my life and give it to the little boy. Take my life and give it to the little boy. Take my life and give it to the little boy. Cliff, it was right then that my husband and I realized that to prosecute you would help neither you nor us. Now we find ourselves 
loving you and caring for you as though you were our own. I told my husband that we had to do something for you because whatever we did would really be for Billy, who was in God's hands, and for ourselves. At first, we didn't know how, but... But God knew how, and he told us how. And that was why you asked me to come and live with you? It makes me feel a lot better. Your being so good to me never made much sense before. God's forgiveness was the key. And all we have to do is look at you to know you've made your peace with him now. And Cliff, you can prove it to us by taking this other key. And it will prove that you have forgiven us. I? Forgive you? Yes. You never wished Billy to die. But when we went to the jail cell, we were full of hate, and we wished you to die. Our sin was greater than yours. If you take this key, it will signify that you have forgiven us as we have forgiven you, as all of us are forgiven who truly repent and turn to God. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll be home in lots of time to do the chores. Don't forget to join us again for another episode of The Living Word, when we will seek to learn more of him who is, in very truth, the Living Word.